Welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we will be talking about the 2019 remake of Child's Play. Now, I'm calling it a remake. I don't know if you count it as a remake. They've come, they pretty much changed everything about it, except for the kid's name um, and the doll's name, or what the doll is called, his actual name, not because the doll itself is called the Buddy Dolls instead of the Good Guy Dolls. Um, but he's still called Chucky. Um, so I went and watched this last night. I actually did a double feature. I watched Toy Story 4 and then Child's Play. Um, I'm not going to discuss Toy Story 4 on this channel since this channel is supposed to be mainly horror related movies. If you guys do want me to do a review on that, I can. I mean, it's just not really going to fit in with everything else on this channel. But that's besides the point. But So let's talk about the new Child's Play. Um, first opinion I guess was it was okay now I love Child's Play I love Chucky I've loved all of them except for Seed of Chucky Bride of Chucky was really out there and they definitely changed the tone of it but I still enjoyed the movie and actually really probably besides the first Child's Play I think I uh, prefer uh, Curse of Chucky and Cold of Chucky actually those two are really good movies a lot of people don't talk about them or might not have even seen them because they were direct to, to uh, TV, DVD movies, but they were amazing. They really took back the horror aspect of Chucky and kind of put in a little bit of the comedy, but not a whole lot to make it actually work. Um, but, uh, but I mean, the overall story of Child's Play is very silly. I mean, it's a little tiny doll, you know, about yay big that is killing people. That's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm the first one to admit that it's dumb. So going into this new one, that was my mindset, is I still love Chucky, I still love Child's Play, but the concept itself is silly. So if they do it right, it might not be bad. And they did that. They knew that it was a silly concept. They knew that you can't take, you can only take it too or so serious before it becomes just awkward. So they did account for that. And like I said, it's an okay movie. I mean, Child's Play itself, honestly, is an okay movie. It's a cult classic. I love it. But I also love a lot of bad <laughs> horror movies. So it's an okay movie. It's worth watching. Is it worth going to theaters for? I would say no, unless you are just a die-hard Child's Play fan. If you're not, if you just kind of like it, or you've seen them and you're kind of like, whatever... Wait till it comes on digital or comes on Redbox or DVD or whatever you want <clears throat> and watch it there. Because it's not worth, I mean, we paid, me and my wife went and it was $26 for both of us. It's not worth that. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to buy it on DVD when it comes out, but that's because I own every single one of them. So I will be paying that much to have it. Um, but I'm not really going to go into spoilers with this video. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. I'm not going to go into spoilers with this video. I'm just kind of talking about my thoughts on it. And like I said, it's okay. The characters are okay. They're not, they didn't, the, the actors didn't do a horrible job. Um, I mean, you care about Andy, you care about his mom. Their dynamic together was really good. When, I, when it first started, I honestly thought that she was his sister because of the chemistry they had, the kind of picking on each other kind of thing that seemed like siblings, but it was actually his mom, which I mean, is accurate to the original. But they were fine. Everyone else in the movie were horrible. I did not care about it. The only other one I cared about was a cop that lives down in the same apartment complex as Andy and the cop's mom. And that was really because they were funny. Um, the character itself, I didn't care for. They were just entertaining to watch, but they weren't very good characters. Andy and his mom aren't great characters, but the chemistry of the two actors together to make it seem like they were mother and son was did they the actors did a good job so therefore i cared for what happened for them to them but honestly the rest of the movie i kind of wanted to see chucky kill most of these people one because i didn't give a shit about them and two because i want to see chucky kill people that's the only reason you go to this movie um so yeah i mean like i said all the actors did fine i mean it's just their characters are meant to be bland and boring so that you didn't care if they did die and you don't care so they they accomplished that um, the doll itself, the way, the reason that he does what he does, does not bother me at all. I mean, it's completely different from the soul possessing doll from the originals, but it still didn't bother me. I was fine with it, and I kind of enjoyed it. It was an interesting concept because 
AI getting smart and doing things on its own is very realistic nowadays with, you know, Alexa and Siri and Google Homes and all this stuff. It's very possible. I mean, one point in the movie, they show a car that drives by itself. That happens now. It's not, I mean, it's not as real as out there as that movie was yet. I mean, they have one, but their concept. But all these things are very possible. So that I enjoyed that concept about it because it was realistic. And the way the way he looked, like I know a lot of people were hating on it. I kind of liked it, kind of didn't. Now what I mean by that is it was scary. I think the new doll is scarier than this doll right here. But it looked worse. If that, I, don't know, I don't know if that makes sense. Like he looks dumb. But then again, it looks scary. And I think that's solely because we're used to this look. You want that. And they didn't want to do that because they want to make this their own movie since it's not really a remake, but kind of is. So because I know this doll, this one looked dumb. But this one was way scarier. His facial, the way his face looked, the way he smiled, stuff like that was terrifying. And Mark Hamill's voice was phenomenal. Hands down, the best part of the movie was, I mean, I love him. I love Brad Dorff. He's great. But Mark Hamill kind of added his, his own voice with his Joker animated voice to make this voice, and it's terrifying. I mean, hands down, the scariest part of the movie was Mark Hamill, and he's not even in the movie. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You, I mean, you just got to take that how you will. So, you know, like I said, I didn't mind Chucky. I know a lot of people are hating on it, saying it's the worst thing in the world. It's not. It's okay. It's fine. He's terrifying. It's just we're used to this doll. Now, the one thing I will complain about was the CGI for it. So now, when you see the doll, like 80% of the time when he's just walking or Andy's holding his hand, he's walking with him, it's a doll. I don't know if they're doing, did animatronics. I haven't looked into it. I'm assuming they did an animatronic doll. I don't know. But when he's actually doing most of his killing, most of his running and jumping, it's CGI. Now, that doesn't bother me because this doll did more than this one did. Um, I mean, the way he moved and everything was a lot more because this movie, or uh, most of these movies, they only moved, did him a couple times where he's fast running or jumping. And most times either someone throwing the doll so it looked like the doll was leaping in the air or in the original they used a small person in a Chucky outfit. So for this one, they wanted to make it look better by using CGI, which wouldn't bother me, but the CGI was so bad when they did it. Like you could instantly tell, like if you saw a shot from the actual doll, a video of that into the CGI, you could instantly tell the second that it goes to CGI and that stinks. Um, but overall, like I said, I mean, there's, it's an okay movie. I mean, honestly, it's how most horror movies are nowadays where they're not great. They're watchable, um, but you know they could do a lot better. You know that they most likely did it the way they did just to make the budget back. And that's the reason a lot of these new scary, scary movies are doing such a low budget because then they're doing a low budget, they can do it cheaply, and they know for a fact you know they can get that, that uh, profit back easily. Like this movie will most likely make its profit back, whether it's with the DVDs or whatever, but it's because it was such a low buzz. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it wasn't very high. And that stinks. A lot of horror movies are doing that nowadays, and I hate it. Um, like, I never watch Brightburn. I don't want to watch it. I'm not interested in it. But that's a prime example. I think it only had like a seven or eight million dollar budget. I mean, that movie made that back within, you know, the first weekend, more or less. So they knew right there, okay, now we're making profit. Awesome. And I hate that. I wish that they would put everything they had into these movies to make them better because if they suck, I mean, if they suck and they do it cheaply and they get the profit back, that's good for them, I guess. But if they were great, they would still get the profit back and they would build fans. You know what I mean? Like, and I just, I don't know, it bugs me, but that's besides the point. Um, but so for Child's Play, the remake, like I said, act, I mean, everything about this movie was fine. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't give it a good, a bad, a great. It was fine. It was okay. The only part of the movie that was better than that was Mark Hamill's voice. I mean, he's great in everything, so that's, you know, self obvious right there. So, for the new remake of Child's Play, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. So, I mean, it's just a barely 
average film. Like I said, I would not recommend going to theaters and seeing it because it's not worth the money. Wait till it comes on Redbox, or if you're a collector, wait till it comes on DVD. So at least you can pay the same price for the DVD as you would go and take someone to see the movie. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.